There is plenty of science suggesting that therapy dogs are good for patients with a wide range of disabilities and illnesses. But what if a patient can't handle a dog or pets aren't allowed where they live? News 5's Jessica Taloni shows us how technology is offering a new solution. This is an innovative idea that offers so many of the benefits of a therapy dog, but requires no care. Already, a robo dog named Jenny is helping improve one man's life. How does she feel? Smooth and really soft. For Autumn Carr, getting her dad, Dennis, to smile sometimes requires an artificial touch. For me, it, it looks and sounds like a dog. Cars talking about Jenny, a prototype robot therapy dog designed to help patients who are unable to care for a real pet. Dennis has Parkinson's disease and has difficulty moving and speaking. Tom Stevens created his company TomBot after his mother was diagnosed with Alzheimer's. Her beloved dog had to be taken away. My mom was devastated, so I started looking at uh, substitutes for live animal companions. USC's Dr. Maja Matarik says therapy pets may help patients cope with loneliness, anxiety, and stress. There are now increasing numbers of studies that show that people really thrive and feel better when they have some amount of physical contact in their lives. And there's some evidence robotic companions can do the same. Jenny barks and wags her tail just like a real dog. She also responds to to touch, creating connection for people like Dennis. Something like this would help him engage his mind in something else, calm his body. So I think it's a wonderful tool. Okay, here. Can you help pet Jenny with me? The robots go on the market next year for about $450. And here's something interesting. The synthetic fur for the Robo Dogs was created by Jim Henson's Creature Shop, which produces the Muppets. For WKRG News 5, I'm Jessica Taloni.